Hi everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to add a link to allow users to download media from your website. This is a great tool if you have a press kit or media assets that you want to allow potential collaborators to download, or you want to offer digital products like ebooks, clothing patterns, project templates, or music files. I'll also show you how to create a digital product in your store and how to make your digital downloads accessible to members only. So first, I'll show you how to add a downloadable link to your website. So I'm currently logged into the member zone of my website.com account, and I'll go to the site builder. I've already created a page called Downloads, so I'll go to that page. You can go through Manage Pages here, or by clicking this drop down on the top. You can add links to text, buttons, and images throughout your entire website. For example, on this gallery, I could add a link to each image. If you wanted to add the link to text, on the left you'll see under the description, so that would be right here, you can add a link as well to text. I'm actually going to add my links to buttons, and there are no buttons on my sections right now, so I'm going to add a new section by hovering on this one right here and clicking add section right here. So this will create a section right below it. I see the services sections have buttons, so I'm going to choose one of these layouts. Now I've just clicked on the button, and we're going to link it to a downloadable product. So you can click on this quick tool, or on the left, under button, you'll see that there's a field right here. You can click on it, and this will open up this pop-up. Now we're going to choose to link to a file, and just click to select file. So I've already uploaded a file to my file manager right here, but if you want to upload another file from your computer, just click Upload File right here. I'm going to select this one. And then click Save. Now you can choose what happens when visitors click the file. So the action I want is already here. Download the file. You could change the file name if you want. And then click Save. So you've just added a downloadable link to your website. I'm going to quickly change some of this text so it makes more sense. I'll change the description, and you can describe the digital product, or you can also add instructions for downloading. I'll also change the text on the button. So you can go ahead and customize all of the text on this section. You can add more links. Once you've done that, click Publish to make all the changes go live. So what happens if you want to actually make this page password protected or available only to members? This is great if you only want select visitors to be able to download your links. You can make multiple pages with different passwords or available to different members. So I'm going to show you how to make a page accessible to members only. And the member function is available for all website.com personal plans and above. So we're going to go back, clicking the website.com logo. This will take us back to the start menu. And then we'll choose manage pages. And for the downloads page, we see it right here. Hover on it and then click the edit pencil. Now we'll go to Page Permissions. So here under Permissions, we can choose who can view this page. Right now it's set to all visitors. I'm going to choose to make it accessible to all members. However, once you've actually added members, you can choose to make it accessible to selected member groups or selected members. But right now I'm going to choose all members. If you want to just password protect the page and not use the member system, you can do that as well with the password holders. I chose all members and I'm going to click save. Now that this page is exclusive, it's time to create a product in my store. So I already have a shop for my website. I'm going to click again back to start and then click the store. 
And now I want to add a new digital product. Just click Add New Product, or you can open the Store Manager. I'm going to use the quick link right here. Keep in mind that if you haven't added a shop yet, you can quickly do that and just follow the steps before you add your products. So now we'll go ahead and enter all the information needed about your digital product. Add your name, description, and price. In my description, I'll also let users know that after they've made the purchase, I'll be fulfilling the order by sending them a link to the password protected page. The important thing you need to add is the personalized order details form. We'll click add new form field. We want to make sure we collect the visitor's name and their email address, so make sure you mark it as mandatory for each field. This is the information you're collecting so that you can create a member profile for them after they've completed the order. When you're done with all of the details, just click Save. We'll click Done. So we see Music Track 1 has been added to my store. We'll just close that. And I'll publish again. So now let's say someone has gone to your store and completed the order. And now it's time for you to fulfill the order by adding them as a member for your website. So again, we'll go back to Start and then choose Members and I'll show you how to add a new member. So you can open the Members Manager or just click Add New Member right here. So using that information that you collected when they completed the order, you can create their profile. Just enter a secure temporary password for now, but we'll make sure we select this option, which will send an email notification which will inform the recipient and allow them to change their password. Make sure that's selected, and then click Save. Once you've added them as a member, it would be ideal to send an email with more instructions on how to access the digital files. In your email, you can include a thank you and a link to the page which contains their digital download. If you send this email out from your custom domain email, it will give even more credibility to your business. Depending on your plan, you may already have domain emails, so make sure you take advantage of this. Click Done, and we're going to publish one more time. We're just making sure everything we've done is live. So that's it for this video. I've showed you how to add a downloadable file to your website, as well as how to make it exclusive to your members, how to add a digital product to your store, and how to add members. If you have any further questions, be sure to reach out to our support team or leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to website.com for more website and business tips. Thanks for watching.